Hello friends, welcome to another exciting episode in our Photoshop design series. In this video, I'll be showing you how I came up with this design in Photoshop. Right with easy steps like we've done in previous videos. If you don't mind, if you've not subscribed at this point, please kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so that you won't miss any of the videos that I will be showing anytime from now. And of course, I'll be giving free PSD files to 5% that get a secret code in this video so please make sure you watch to the end to get the secret code so let's get started first things first um, click on file and click on new like this and I'm just going to set my document to the sizes I'm just gonna rename it like this this is gonna be prayer chain right so um resolution is at 300 RGB color and everything else here stays the same right so when you go into Photoshop like this the first thing you want to do is click on um, gradient and um, what you want to do is click on this first one and click on OK. So it's going from a yellow color to um, white. I'm going to use, um, okay, so I'll use radial, then click on reverse. And I'm just going to scale this up. You can see that this is like different from what we've been doing in our previous videos. That's why it's very, very important that you don't miss any of the videos. I'm going to drop it. So convert to smart object like that and click on filter and click on noise, add noise to it. Not too much. You don't want to go overboard with this. Right? Click OK. Make sure you are following my settings, right? So right about now, I'm just going in. I'm just going to bring in my source file. The link to my source file is in the description of this video. The link to the files is always in the description of every video, right? So create a mask. Make sure you are the black. Select the brush like this and um, gently we're just going to go over this and um, double on this i'm going to go over to the bottom too and i'm just going to reduce like this okay so when i'm done um with okay um great so i'm just going to move this downwards like this and um, with that one selected, I'm just going to go over to opacity and I'm going to reduce it like this, right? And uh, I'm going to create, okay, so I'm just going to leave this like this and um, go over to my source file, right? Drag this and um, place inside like this. So I'm going to flip this, right? and rotate it like this just rotate just turn it when you see that arrow that goes around just turn and put this up here like this yeah i think this should be the position i think this should do and um, increase it a bit increase the size and uh, when you're done click enter All right okie dokie and um, i'm going to make duplicate copies of this so of course ctrl j to make it click a copy like bring this down and um, i'm going to rotate this and bring this here position this here like this great okay so i'm just going to rotate this this way um so it balances off and of course i'm going to make it extra copy of this but with this one i'm going to rotate it this way and i'm going to bring this somewhere here i might still have to rotate it the other way around yes i think yeah this is great rotate it this way and um just follow my steps if you need to pause and play make sure you pause and play watch you pause and play that's how you learn fast All right so uh, i'm just going to select the three of them holding down shift and um, ctrl G to group them. I'm just going to name this. Make sure your layers are grouped properly, right? That's one thing we failed to do in our last class. But in this class, we have to do that. So I'm just going to click on black and white. You can see it's affecting the whole layer and we don't want that. So right click and click on create clipping mask. So it affects only the chain layer. It groups chain layer like this, right? Great. So, um, the next thing you want to do is um, having selected this is create a new adjustment layer but this time I'm going to be curves clip it to what you have there already and what you should do is bring this down like this and um, create a curves layer like this like this 
okay great so it's just gonna be like an s shape now what this actually does is it adds more contrast to it right so anytime you're creating an s shape like this it gives more contrast to it and more depth to your image so i'm just going to go on individual and i'm going to add extra blur to it just follow my settings so for this first one which is the one on top i'm going to use this for it select um which one am i selecting next okay select this one next go to filter blur you can see i'm doing it individually so go to blur gaussian blur and i'm going to apply this to it and um, when i'm done with this i'm going to click okay like this so for the last one go to blow but this one the blow value is not going to be like the remaining ones so i'm going to reduce this to the level i want it to be and click ok like this all right great and um so one two three you have that done so i'm going to go to camera filter for the first one it's very very important that you do these steps increase the texture and um reduce the clarity like this the haze and reduce the blacks and click ok like this right after that you're good to go and uh, you can easily just close this off like this great so next i'm doing is um close this up it's not time for this great so you can see that design is beginning to take shape so um the next thing i want to do is um staying on this layer group the two of them Ctrl G to group them and I'm just going to name this BG, right? That's background. Good. Interesting. So um, I'm just going to go to this layer here and I'm going to create lay another layer on top of it. It's very important that you do that, right? Layers are one of the most important things inside of Photoshop. So one thing I'm going to bring it inside is, but before I do that, I'm going to set my foreground color to this color. So you use that. So that's my foreground color. It's more like a yellowish kind of color, so you can just use that as a code. So go over and uh, bring in your this image, this particular one. So a um, couple of things I've done to this image. First of all, click on filter, blur, and Gaussian blur, and increase the blur blur value like this. Click OK, and um, the next thing you want to do is change the blend mode to screen right so as it is now you can see uh, like a huge difference as to what we had and what it is right now but then we don't want to apply this whole thing to the entire image so what you want to do is um, create a mask on this image and um, click on the mask and press ctrl i on your keyboard to invert it this way so what you want to do is um, revert the color make sure your foreground color is white because you're working on and paint it on these areas like this right my flow is set to 100 so i'm just going to use this like this this way and use this like this this way you can see i'm concentrating on only these areas i'm not doing the extreme entirety of the whole image itself right so i'm just going to um double this on and uh, make this right this way and uh, voila there you go great and um yes next thing you want to do is adjustment layer and um let's see hue oh no no hue and saturation i'm going to apply gradient map but on the gradient map i'm just going to um uh, turn this on and turn this off let me delete this and do this again so this is the color i'm using for my foreground color that's the yellow right so let me turn this on so what i'm going to do basically is just pick this color here like this right which i used for the initial background i'm going to change the blend mode to soft light this way so you can see the way everything blends in so i'm just going to reduce the opacity like this and i'm going to keep it at um i think this value is fine so before before and after right good so we're good to go this way right great okay so i haven't done that the next thing i want to do is um let me see i'm just going to put this at 20 percent duplicate it and um i'm just going to change this yellow to um something else let me a red color like this you can use my values that i used 
click OK and click OK. So the essence of this is just so we get a nice blend of yellow and red like this. So it's just going to be this way. So I'm just going to be using um, the soft light also for that. So you have two gradient maps like this. If there's something you're not getting, please feel free to rewind this video and um, go back and replay and play again. So creating a new layer here and what I want to do is go back to my text tool and I'm just going to type what I want to type. So it's going to be prayer and um, um, I'm just going to change the font that I used. This is the font that I use. For most of you guys that always ask me for the font that I use, please make sure you pay attention to seeing the particular fonts I use in the video, please. It's very, very important. It shows that you are actually attentive watching the videos. So with this done, what I want to actually do is um, come over here where I have here and reduce the spaces in between like this. And of course, I would want to make it bigger this way. And um, what I want to do is um, I'm change the color. So I'm going to select the color from um, the chain here like this and um, make it darker a little bit and click OK. Right. Make sure you are selecting your colors from everything around your design. Right. So I'm going to make this minus 75. The space is in between. And I'm going to press Ctrl J to duplicate this. I'm using my arrow to bring this down. That's the down arrow on your keyboard. And double click on this. And I'm just going to make this chain. So it's going to be prayer chain. So I'm just going to adjust this and um, make it better this way, like this, right? So I'm also going to go ahead and um, add some extra text after increasing this. Yes, after increasing this. So I'm just going to create a new layer and. Um, and I necessarily don't need to read in layer. Just go to what your text to and type something else. I'm just going to type this. And um, yes, I'm just going to type this. I'll just change the font. This is the font I use for this. I'm just going to type this out. Okay, so it's going to be 30 days of fasting and prayers, right? So I'm going to T and I'm going to make this bigger and I'm going to move this closer to the prayer chain itself, like this, right? Great. And um, okay, so directly above the background, I'm going to create another new layer. And what I'm going to do is select my brush. I'm working with the soft round pressure opacity brush, right? So I'm just going to create some um, extra white glows here. And I'll go back to the top here. And um, position this well. So make a duplicate copy of this, Ctrl J, and I'm going to use this to type something else. This should be the date. Right, so it's going to be first of first to thirtieth of September, but then I would like to use a different font for this, just so it's quite different from what I have before. Right, so I'm going to use this, so it stands out from what I have in the composition before. Okay, nice. So I'm just going to make this smaller, like I would want to make it smaller. And um, what else would I do with this? I'm just going to go over and bring in the church logo itself. Bring this up here. Of course, it's white, so we we'll have to change it to the color that we have currently on the prayer chain. So right click and click blending option. And um, what you should do is um, inside here, click on color overlay. Make sure this gray option is active and you can see that's the color so i'm going to click this and um, click this once and um, 
click this once and you can come here and sample the color of the chain to use for the logo so most times this is what i do when i need to change the color of the logos that i have and all of that so just click ok and voila there you go so you can make this bigger just a little bit like this make it a little bit bigger like this move it upward and uh, click enter like this okay so um prayer chain 30th of 30 days of fasting and prayers first 30th of september create a new layer above this and um create a clipping mask i'm working on the prayer text now now with your foreground colors is set to that color that we set i'm just going to do this and put the blend mode to screen click on chain itself create a new layer on top and right click click clipping mask and i'm going to do the same thing i did to prayer for this and like this you can see how much more difference this these little changes are actually contributing to the whole entirety of this design all right so um right so this is all we have okay okay so like i said this is all we have so um we're at the last phase of adding some finishing touches to it so follow along while i also do that too so what I'm going to do is um, Ctrl Alt Shift E to make a snapshot of this. Then right click and click on Smart Object, right? So what you want to do is um, it's a Smart Object now. So go to Filter and um, Filter Camera Raw Filter. And when this loads up, we're going to make some couple of significant adjustments to this. Um, part of this design so the first thing you want to do is um, go over to these DAs and um, add some extra nudge up to this and texture increase the texture like this and for blacks reduce the blacks like this reduce the shadows like this you can see how much more difference is actually making right increase the clarity i love this part right and um what else would i want to do increase the temperature like this or you can either leave it where it is exactly um uh, contrast stays the same way okay i'm gonna bump temperature up like this so contrast i'm just going to go all the way up like this and when you're done just click ok so you can see the major huge difference between all of these things that i've done now right so if you want to check this um so i'm just going to create a color balance adjustment finally to this part and i'm going to just add the settings like this and um, increase this there you go something just came across the screen and um move this to this part and I'm also going to increase it this way. You can see how much more difference this is making, right? And um, right, I think that's great enough. Great. All right, guys, like you can see now, this is how I ended up creating this flyer in Photoshop. If you've enjoyed my feed, my videos, and um, especially this particular video, please don't forget to give it a likes. And um, give it a like if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. I love you all. Thank you very much.